From July 13th to 16th, 1863, in the middle of the Civil War, thousands of poor and working class white New Yorkers, incensed by inequities in the new military draft, resentful about wartime hardship, and inflamed by the Lincoln administration's emancipation policies, looted and destroyed buildings, battled police, state militia, and federal troops, and brutally attacked the city's African-American residents. Eight illustrated newspapers covered the riots. The crowd that gathered outside the 9th District Provost Marshal's office on 3rd Avenue and 46th Street on the morning of Monday, July 13th, as the draft lottery was resumed after a deceptive Sunday lull, also attracted at least three newspaper special artists. The attack on and burning of the draft office, with the fire quickly spreading to adjacent buildings and across 46th Street, initiated the violence. It also was the most illustrated of any riot event. Some of the engravings displayed the aftermath, the smoldering remains of the buildings, but artists for Leslie's, the Illustrated News and the Illustrated London News depicted the onset of the destruction. In keeping with the practice of their battlefront colleagues, they evidently tried to find the best and relatively safest vantage point from which to sketch the scene. In this case, on the Western fringe of the crowd, that location provided three different perspectives of a butcher's shop across the avenue from the draft office building, a rickety wooden shanty upon which several reputed ringleaders climbed to exhort the crowd. The three subsequently published engravings offer different views of the event and especially of its location on the outskirts of the built city, for which we have little other visual evidence and certainly no photographs to otherwise gauge its appearance.